I once saw a mother in the kitchen cooking. At the same time, the children were running around in the kitchen, and she said to them, Hold your horses. Watch where you're going. Stop running wild. Now, where does that expression come from? Hold your horses. Stop running wild. I am reminded of the Katha Upanishad that is thousands of years old. Yama, the teacher, explains to the nine-year-old boy, Indriyani Hayan Ahu. He said, the sense organs are like horses. The teacher, Yama, compares the sense organs to horses. We have five sense organs that we utilize to experience and enjoy the material world. These five sense organs are the eyes, ears, tongue, nose, and our skin. When we see beautiful objects with our eyes, we enjoy that sight, and then we might desire that beautiful object. But if we let that desire control us, we may become obsessed with that beautiful thing or object or person that the eyes had seen. And then we feel that we must have it no matter the cost. That is the power of the eyes. When we hear enchanting sounds with our ears, we enjoy that enchanting music. We say it's music to our ears. We want to hear it again and again. Think of your favorite song. How many times have you listened to it and tried to sing along with it? That is the power of your ears. When we taste delicious food or drink with our tongue, we enjoy that taste and want to eat that food or drink that drink again and again. Imagine your favorite food or drink right now. Do you feel like eating or drinking it now? Whether it is good for you or not, that is the power of your tongue. When we smell something fragrant with our nose, we want to have that fragrant smell again and again. Scented candles are a huge business because we like fragrant smell. And don't you buy expensive perfumes? Why? You want that smell or that fragrance. That is the power of your nose. When you experience that touch of desire with your skin, don't you want to experience that touch again and again? And after a few times, it may become so irresistible that it becomes an addiction. That is the power of the skin, the sense of touch. Now, if you control these five senses or five horses, your life can be enjoyable and happy. But if these five horses run wild and you can't control them, they will take you to where they want to go and not to where you want to go. Similarly, if the five senses overpower you and control you, it can lead to disaster, unhappiness, or even tragedy. So ponder on this seriously for a while. And when we meet again, I will offer you the solution. Please subscribe to this channel and share it with the people you care about. And I will see you later.